it's Alicia here at Llanchaegvawr Living History Museum again in our wonderful kitchens and I'm going to be showing you a very simple recipe from this wonderful book The Good Housewife's Jewel. This was written in 1596 and the recipe is called To Make Peas Cods in Lent. Now you'll be glad to hear that peas cods have no peas or cod in them. They're actually a sweet little pasty. Peas cod was actually the name for a pea pod back in the 16th and 17th century. So the way we're going to make them is they look like little pea pods. Really simple to make, incredibly delicious. And if you make these, you will wonder why on earth they fell out of fashion. All we will need for this recipe is a quantity of short crust or puff pastry, whichever you prefer. You can make it if you want from scratch or if you want to cheat, you can just buy, buy the pre-packaged stuff that you get from the supermarket. So if you're buying pre-packaged, this would be the equivalent of about half a packet. So this is just short crust pastry. So now for the filling. In this recipe, it says to use dates, raisins and figs. Now today, I only have dates and raisins. Would have been the same in the 16th, 17th century, whatever you had in your store cupboard. So don't worry too much, you haven't got all three of those dried fruits. You'll need about 100 grams of dried fruit, whatever's your choice. All we need to do with this is just chop it into small pieces, ready to fill your peas cods. Now it says here to season it with cloves, mace and cinnamon and ginger if you like. So just a little bit of each into here. I'm actually going to use a bit of nutmeg. So I would say a quarter of a teaspoon. Let's say up to you what you'd like to use. And I will put a little bit of cinnamon in as well. Now our dried fruit is all chopped and spiced, it's time to roll out the pastry. So you want to roll it about three millimetres thick. So now the pastry is rolled out, we want to cut it into circles in the 17th century. Often you just use a glass in a fancy household like this anyhow. So, so that's one. You'll find at home using a modern cutter would be much easier than this. But this does work surprisingly well. Now, I've got a few rolled out here. I'm going to take some of our filling and just place it in the middle. So now we have the filling in. I'm going to make them into our peas cod shape. I'm going to use a 16th century version of a pastry brush, which is actually made from feathers. And you can use egg beaten if you want, but I've just got a little bit of milk here. Use my feather and just brush it on to the edge. Then we fold him over, push him down into your little pea pod shape, and then it's best just to crimp the edges so none of it escapes whilst it's being fried. There we are, and we'll just fill the rest of them. And here are our finished piece cods ready for frying. Now we're adding clarified butter to the pan here, but at home you can use oil and 
you can see there, it's quite a good amount. Be really careful if you're doing this at home with kids around, just uh, if the fat begins spitting. So medium to high heat, just wait for that to melt a moment. And I think it is probably now hot enough to put in our peas cods. We're gonna fry our peas cods just a few at a, at a time. Let's pop them in the pan here. Now, if you wanted to, you could brush these with beaten egg and put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. But I would definitely recommend frying them. They are absolutely delicious when they're fried like this. And I promise you, you will wonder why on earth people stop making and eating these. You can imagine them selling, well, like hotcakes at a fair nowadays. It's almost like like a fried mince pie, but even nicer, because they're not quite as sweet. So they should take probably about five minutes, a couple of minutes on each side. So we'll just leave them for a moment, and then we'll flip them. Right, so we're just going to carefully turn these over in the pan. So just be careful with the hot oil. Give them another couple of minutes. Now these look just about ready, so I'm going to take them carefully out of the pan and you just drain them on a bit of kitchen paper. I realise these are not health food, they are definitely an indulgence, but my goodness are they delicious. So just pop those here and I will cook the rest. And then we will put them on a plate and sprinkle them with sugar. All right, that's the rest of them done. Let me get them out of the pan and onto the paper. Now, it may seem a bit strange for these to be called peas cods in Lent, as they don't seem particularly non-indulgent. But the idea in the... Oh, in 1596 when this book was written, is that Lent meant you couldn't eat any meat. So fish was fine, and this of course is vegetarian, so you're not eating any meat and breaking your Lenten fast. And now for the final step that just adds a little bit more deliciousness, all I've done here is mixed up a little bit of caster sugar and cinnamon. And I'm going to, rather than dusting, I think I might just pop each one in just to make sure they're nice and covered and then I'm going to put them on my plate ready to be served to your guests or your lord and lady whoever you're making them for and they're making me very hungry they remind me a little bit of those donuts you used to be able to get at fairgrounds and things when you were a kid but somehow even more delicious. Mm. <laughs> 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 mm. 